All right, guys, just a quick update on the uh, 89 Ranger GT. So a couple days ago, I put in the uh, the Blue Devil transmission sealer uh, just to see what it's going to do, see if it would uh, help slow up the uh, transmission fluid leak or, or potentially stop it. And it said on the bottle, of course, to add, uh, it said that one ounce treated uh, one quart. So I think I put about three and a half ounces in there close to four ounces, something like that. Been driving the truck. I said to drive it, uh, drive it normal conditions. Now, I don't drive this truck a lot, as I've said before. Uh, so I did take it out the last few days, and I've driven it about uh, probably around 80, 85 miles. And that's a lot for me to drive this truck. And uh, so I brought it back last night and parked it right here. Typically, I park it over here in the carport. And you can see where it's been leaking here. Uh, just where it's been sitting here. I really need to put some cardboard under it. I put some under it and it, it just blows out when the wind blows. I need to put maybe a brick on it or something. But uh, So I parked it here last night after driving it. I drove, so I drove it three days, uh, not three days in a row, but three days uh, for a total of about 80, around 80 miles or so, just cruising around the back roads in it. So I'll get in it and move it back in the carport. Haven't been out here today because it's like... Uh, 95 degrees out here uh, but i'll i'll start it up and, and move it in the carport and then we'll come back and look on the driveway here where it's been setting to see if there's any fresh fluids under it uh i might look under here there's my helper get down on my knees i'm getting too old for this look down here and see if we can see anything dripping Don't look too bad from what I can see. What'd you see under there, Bobo? That's Bobo. All right, guys, I'm gonna. I need to pull it up into the uh, carport anyway. I think I'm gonna get the uh, 88 out and drive it a little bit. I don't. Uh, I've said before I don't drive these much. Get out and cruise the back roads or something else. That's about it. And that's what I've done in this one the past few days more than I typically do. That's just to. Uh, Get that blue devil circulating in there. It's warm in here, that's for sure. So hot out, I got a friend of mine that bought some uh, steaks he was going to grill. And he got home about 10.30 last night, and he said he said he's going to put those on the grill. But he got home late, so he changed his mind. And instead of putting them in the refrigerator, he just threw them in the, in the freezer. And then he called me this morning, and... Um, wish me happy father's day and all that and he said uh yeah i guess i'm gonna get them steaks out and grill them i said well i thought you did last night and he said well it was so late when i got home he said but for some reason i didn't think and i just threw them in the freezer I said, he said i should have put them in the fridge he said but uh he said i'm gonna take them outside and put them in my truck to thaw out and i thought you know that's a pretty good pretty good idea because pretty hot in these old trucks and he's got a black f-150 so i'm sure it was warm enough in there to uh, thaw out his steaks so he could throw them on the grill. Actually a pretty good idea rather than putting them in a microwave or something. But Alright guys, we'll go back here and see what uh, kind of fluids are on the driveway where it was parked at. Like I said, I'm going to get the, 89, or the 88 out here and drive it a little bit this evening i gotta run to walmart and get some filters for my uh, ac unit so i'm gonna go by and do that real quick let's look over and see a little bit a little bit right there not bad though three little leaks there three little drops and that's not bad guys a little bit back there what it does a lot of times it'll get on the frame and then uh It'll get on the frame and it'll blow back and drip off a couple of different spots. But overall, I'm going to say that that's uh, a lot less of a leak than what it was to start with. Now, I can always add a little bit more uh, Blue Devil to it if I need to. But uh, just looking at that little spot over there, based on how it was leaking, I would say that uh, 
it has probably slowed it down a little bit so and like i said before guys i will eventually probably have the transmission rebuilt but this truck's a a, a constant work in progress we, we've done a lot of body work on it and that took a while uh like i said before the body's pretty straight on it so really it's almost ready for uh for paint but like i said before the front end suspension has got to be replaced on it uh a little bit of engine engine tuning on it uh i said before it's got a intermittent lifter tap it doesn't do it and actually the last three days i drove it it ran as smooth as a sewing machine didn't didn't tap at all but so my opinion on blue devil based on this now i'm gonna drive it some more and i'll keep on i'll keep checking it and keep filling you guys in as i go along but uh as of right now I'm going to say it's probably hasn't stopped it completely. Hasn't stopped it completely, which, again, guys, some of that could be oil, too. It's so hard to tell on a black driveway. You know, it's hard to tell a color of a fluid on a black driveway. But uh, I'm going to say uh, just for the video that it has slowed the leak down and again we'll uh we'll keep updating and keep checking it obviously i keep keep an eye on it and uh we'll keep let you guys know you know if it's uh if it gets any better gets any worse or whatever but i'm going to say that it is definitely better based on what i'm seeing here after it's sitting there all night long all right guys thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video